Let's face it, modern Linux systems are bloated as heck. I mean, if you grab a most recent version of Ubuntu or Fedora or OpenSUSE or on and on and on, running the latest KDE and GNOME desktop, you are going to be using 1.21 teraflops of, that's not a real measurement of RAM, of RAM. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely nuts how many gigaflopsies you're using of the Ramses. It's nuts. And yes, what's crazy is I just miss said a whole bunch of things on purpose, but there are going to be people on the internet who are going to be like, oh, Londuke doesn't know how memory is measured. It's going to be very entertaining. Watch for it. Um, but there are moments where you see Linux distros that come along and say, you know what? Let's go ahead and just try and piece together a, a modern Linux distribution using modern up-to-date standards, modern kernel, modern desktop environment, the works. And let's see how light we can make it. And I wanted to point a, a big old spotlight onto one of those Linux distributions right now. It's not one that most people probably have ever heard of. It's not one that I had heard of until yesterday. And what they have put together is beautiful. It is beautiful using essentially off-the-shelf Linux components that are modern, and they have systems that are booting, according to them, in less than 10 seconds uh, in the live mode, which uh, I tested their live ISO, and yeah, it boots lightning fast, with a footprint of approximately 200 megabytes of RAM. And that's real. And I tested it myself, and yeah, it's uh, when I tested it, it was slightly over 200 megabytes, but only just. In fact, according to their screenshots, it, it clocked in at 217 megabytes, which I think mine was around that somewhere, 212, 215, something like that. Crazy lightweight, crazy, crazy small, and entirely modern. What these, uh, this is Vendafool Wolf. Uh, I don't think I'm even pronouncing it right. Uh, V-E-N-D-E-F-O-U-L, Wolf. Uh, you can go check out their webpage, which is up on SourceForge, uh, at vendafool-wolf-linux.sourceforge.io. They also have a uh, 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 an X account, which is at V-E-N-D-E-F-O-U-L, Wolf, uh, which I am now following them there because they're making something lightweight and beautiful and I love it. And it really is. It's it's crazy, crazy fast how quick this gosh darn thing boots up. This is the screenshot they posted over on X and it's real straightforward. It's old school Linux. It's ICE window manager running on top of X Libre. So it's X11 with all the bug fixes and fixes and security updates and patches that that X11 so that X org so desperately needed. Um, it's all on X Libre and running on top of Devuin, which means no system D, no X org, uh, it's X Libre, no Wayland, uh, no, no, uh, all the other stuff. And it's crazy lightweight. Uh, this Linux distribution um, is based on Devuin and they have a whole bunch of different spins, you know what I mean? Like using different desktop environments. Like they have KDE and Trinity and Budgie and XFCE and all the other, and Cinnamon and all the other stuff. But what really caught my attention was utilizing the ICE window manager, because they have a version available for the ICE window manager, and uh, doing so in a really simple way. Old school, not ugly, not primitive looking, not not capable, just simply old school. And so if you want a system that runs crazy fast, things like this, things like this Vendafool Wolf, Vendafowl Wolf, I don't even know how to say it. There's probably a, a word from some foreign place that I've never heard of, and it probably means something cool. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> it... It just it reinstills a level of faith and confidence that you can accomplish truly lightweight, truly fast, stable, and modern operating systems and run all the modern software you need using a crazy light footprint. Now, now by the time you start adding in all the necessary libraries to run everything else you might want to run that's more modern, all your games and the right kind of web browsers that you like and whatnot, you're going to be adding a lot more overhead to this, obviously, but you're still going to be far short. I, I started taking this Vendafool Wolf and started adding things that I'd regularly use so I can play the games I want to play and test out the browsers I want to test out. And 
without running a lot of that modern bloated software, I still was never getting above like, you know, 400 megs of RAM in terms of usage, even with all of the extra cruft thumped on top of it, which is still with all of that added in a fraction of what you're using for a base system for, you know, modern, most modern GNOME systems or KDE systems nowadays. And it was lightning crazy fast, even in a virtual machine. Uh, and I didn't give it a whole lot of RAM because I, I wasn't testing it with a lot of RAM. I give it a virtual machine with two gigs of RAM thinking, all right, let's test out this puppy. Crazy fast. No issues whatsoever. Psycho fast. Um, I, I mean, obviously, I'm not running this on my my bare metal hardware at the moment. I've got my Open Mandriva machine in front of me right now, and I love it. I do have a Devlin machine going. I got a Ghost BSD machine over there, and those are great. Those are all running fantastically well. I don't know that I'm going to be giving any of them up at this moment because, honestly, all of those machines are already pretty light and fast compared to the big bloated monstrosities of Linux distributions that are out there. Um, but to see them push that ever further with like with the, what these Vendafool people are doing right here, not the most lightweight Linux distro ever. I mean, you can get, you know, the puppies and, 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 and DSL Linuxes and all these other things really, really lightweight. You can, you can cut it down sub 200 megabytes. Uh, that's, that's, that's easy to do. Um, but to have a fully functional, very modern feeling, um, very capable Linux distribution clocking in around 200 megs is, uh, is fantastic. And that, that makes you wonder why on earth, why on earth are the big distributions not going that route? At a time when, you know, Windows is bloated beyond words to come in and be able to come in and say, you know what, we use one tenth we use 10% of the RAM of a Windows installation just without even launching any apps. Before Windows even launches an app, we're 10% we're of, the, of the memory usage. How cool is that? And to say, yeah, we're capable of just as much stuff. Yeah, we can. in fact, we can run a lot of the same software. Shoot, you throw wine on top of this and you've effectively got a crazy faster version of Windows, <laughs> right? Uh, to me, I, I, I am dumbfounded by why more distributions don't go down this road. I truly, truly am. Um, so uh, kudos to the uh, Vendafool Wolf folks. Uh, I may have to toss this onto actual hardware at some point here soon just to see it kicking. Um, I almost kind of want to get just like a really old laptop, you know, like get, a, get an older ThinkPad, throw this sucker on there, and uh, it just sounds fun. That just sounds fun. I bet it would scream because, man, it, it 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 was like grease lightning fast in my little dinky VM. Uh, so uh, go check it out. Uh, again, it's at Vendafool Wolf on X or Vendafool Dash Wolf Dash Linux dot SourceForge uh, on the uh, on the SourceForge website. Uh, thank you to the Lunduk Journal subscribers for keeping the faith and pushing forward on what truly matters in computing to keep computing. Free from cruft, free from weird, bigoted discrimination in politics, free from all the weird stuff that ruins all the cool politics and the things that make computers really fun. Uh, go to lunduke.com. Find a way you want to watch the show. Support the Lunduke Journal. Again, it's uh, $89 for the month of January to get a life time subscription, which is crazy good. Uh, it's like a less than a third the normal cost, or you can get half off the regular subscriptions. And with a lifetime subscription, you can optionally be added to the amazing Lunduke Journal lifetime wall of awesomeness, or the second wall, or the third wall. The third wall is now full. So we're going to be adding in wall number four here very, very soon in uh, the next day or two. So if you want to be near the top of wall number four, uh, go ahead and get your, your Lunduke Journal lifetime subscription. And now again, it's all up at lunduke.com. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the inner tubes, I do declare end broadcast. <laughs>